Chapter 6 Tumble, Fluff, Shrink. Mom! Stink is doing homework again! Chewie said. You can't tell on me for doing homework, said Stink. Homework, schoolwork. Let's do something good. My homework's good. What's your homework? asked Mom. President's Day. You're not dressing up as a human flag again, are you? asked Judy. No, I have to tell what President's Day means to me. Stay, everybody knows what President's Day means. President's Day means your teacher reads you a book about George Washington's teeth and Abraham Lincoln's beard. President's Day means you make stuff out of popsicle sticks like a log cabin or a flag. Nuh-uh, said Stink. President's Day means you draw three circles, one for Lincoln, one for Washington, and one in the middle for the stuff that's the same about both. That's called a Venn diagram, Mom said. My homework is what it means to me, not what it means to Mr. Venn. Good for you, Mom said. What does President's Day mean to you? Two words, said Stink. Washington and Lincoln, said Judy. James Madison, said Stink. Stink got out a bag of cotton balls. Stink made an old teeny James Madison wig. Judy held him glue cotton balls to her old brownie cap. Pass the glue, said Stink. Quit hogging. Not so much, said Judy. Sting didn't listen. He just kept gluing more cotton balls. Let's see how it looks, said Sting. It has to dry first or all the cotton balls will fall off, Judy told him. Let's dry in the dryer then, said Sting. Genius, said Judy. Sting put the wig in the dryer. Press start, said Sting. I can't reach. Judy pressed the fluff and tumble button. They waited. Glump, glump. They waited some more. The buzzer went off. Voila, said Judy, pulling out the wig. Yikes, yelled Sting. I said press start, not shrink. Now it looks like an elf wig, an ant wig. You put it in the dryer, said Judy. You press the button, said Stink. Never mind, we can put powder in your hair, like James Madison. You mean I can put powder in my hair, said Stink, just to make sure it doesn't turn orange or anything. Boring, said Judy. Friday, Webster read his report aloud first. It was about making red, white, and blue pot holders at his grandpa's nursing home on President's Day. President's Day means to me that we should have a girl president, said Sophie of the Elf. Since we don't, I wrote a poem about the First Lady. Sting told me about her, and I found out more. Her name is Dolly Madison. D stands for Dolly Madison, first to be called First Lady. O stands for on a 15 cent stamp. L stands for like to dance and fish and cook and ride horses. L stands for look like a queen. E stands for Easter egg hunt. Started it. Y stands for yum. Cupcakes are named for her. M stands for Mary James Madison. A stands for always one foot races. D stands for died in 1849. I stands for ice cream always dessert at the White House. S stands for saving a painting of George Washington from a fire. O stands for ostrich feathers in her hats. N stands for nice lady. Last of all was Stink. He wore black. He pinned a number four to his shirt. He put white powder all over his hair. What President's Day Means to Me by James Moody James Madison was the shortest president ever. He was only 5 feet 4 inches tall, 
but he did great things. President's Day means we should not forget about the shortest president ever, James Madison. Everybody knows the tallest, but nobody knows the shortest. He was called Little A Apple John. They said he was no bigger than half a piece of soap. That's a quote. If you want to be president, it's good if your name is James. There's a lot of famous Jameses. Hey, your real name is James, too, said Webster. Exactly, Stink grinned. He finished reading his report. Six presidents had the name James, so it must be lucky. James Madison had the name James. He was smart. He wrote the Bill of Rights. He was father of Constitution. James Madison had eight brothers and sisters. If you're a president, you get to boss even your big sister. He wore black. He put a white powder in his hair to look older. He liked ice cream. He had a pet parrot. No lie. He loved science stuff, like the insides of rabbits. If James Madison was alive, he'd be over 250 years old. My report is short because James Madison was short too. James Madison should be a quarter. James Madison should be a day off. The end. The Adventures of Stink in the Return of the Shrink Monster by Stink Moody. The shrink monster is back and he's back. Grrr. What a headache. He's about to throw Stink into a supersonic clothes dryer to shrink him to nothing. But Stink pushes the monster into the dryer instead. Stink pushes the button. He watches the monster shrink into a ball of flint. President James Madison presents Stink with a medal and a reward.